Haitians gather to remember their homeland. The main message is that we must remain united and continue the struggle to rebuild. Brooklyn Auxiliary Bishop Guy Sansarique celebrates the memorial mass on the anniversary of a horrific earthquake. Even seven years later, memories of the destruction are fresh in the minds of Haitians. My heart couldn't take it, and then tears were coming down my cheek nonstop. On this night, the community opens its heart with French and Creole songs of praise. Father St. Charles Borno ministers to the Haitian community in the Brooklyn Diocese. It's a way for us to, to communicate, to come back and remember that we're Haitians and that, that we need to do more, and especially in these moments when we are struggling together. For hundreds of thousands of people, the struggle includes the loss of those held dear. I do have friends and that have lost their loved ones, um, children, parents, and cousins, and friends. Alma Torchon is one, however, who is grateful. 1,500 miles away from her Brooklyn home, her sister spent hours buried under the rubble of a three-story building. I couldn't hear from her, you know, nobody could tell me how she was doing. I was sick to my st stomach. But you know, when I learned that, you know, she was hit, and then we went, yay, God made it possible. The 7.0 magnitude earthquake shook the foundation of their homeland, but not the willingness to comfort one another. People have lost their homes, and we have to help them to find, to find a job. And we here in the United States, we have to help support them. So, so they can get back on their feet again. The two-hour mass ends with a candlelight vigil, hoping a brighter future awaits Haiti. Reporting for Currents from East Flatbush, I'm Tim Harfman.